sprouted chickpeas with arugula, jasmine rice, red cabbage, and an assortment of herbs and spices. And this came out extremely well. And I want to make a comment on the consistency here. And so the consistency is a soupy consistency, which is what I generally strive for because the soupy consistency will assist with digestion and the absorption of moisture and the absorption of the elements and nutrients in general. You see a little bit of red cabbage as well as um, red onions. The cabbage has been found scientifically, and I have a video, a recent video from Dr. Eric Berg that talks about the number one food that reduces inflammation, and he actually has two, one for carnivores and one for vegans. What he recommends for vegans is cabbage, whether it's red cabbage or green cabbage, take your pick. Cabbage is going to assist you with that. But that's an aside. This meal came together extremely well. I added no salt to it, no additional salt. And I wanted to make sure that I was able to sample the flavors without the influence of salt. Also, I wanted to uh, put this on a flat plate because um, that allows you to do a better comparison. So let's see what this looks like when we have all the ingredients on a flat plate. And you'll see that you have all the different elements that I mentioned. You got the sprouted chickpeas, you got the rice, and you got the arugula, you got the onions, and you have red cabbage as well. And I find that when you're looking at this type of chickpea, or what some would call a chana masala, or a Jamaican curry, type of a cuisine, right? And this is none of those. This is some hybrid of all three. That uh, the Jamaican curry style, I like that. I like the authentic Indian chana masala style where it's even soupier than what I have here. And I also like what I have done here where there's a thicker sauce that is influenced by the rice itself and its consistency, right? I have a umami level rice and I find that that adds a level of flavor and taste to this that's absolutely stunning. And then when I put a little bit salt, Himalayan pink salt on the plated part, it is even better. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will catch you on the other side. Thank you.